Welcome back, everybody, to the greatest show on earth, and that is the Miami Boat Ramps channel. I'm your host, Broncos Guru, in collaboration with our good friend Wavy Boats, and it's another Wavy Guru Productions back down here at the ramp, and today we're at 79th. And these guys are kind of raising cane as they're coming in, um, honking the horn, telling people to get out the way. I guess we got something in tow, though, so I kind of understand that, but um, they seem a little more rushed than normal when I'm watching somebody tow somebody in, though. So, this crew and that bilge pump's working overtime. That's not a good sign. And the fact is, they're rushing to get this untied. Oh, yeah. This boat's got the lean. This boat's going down. Oh, my gosh, it is. This boat's sinking, guys. This crew right here, I don't know what's wrong with it, but what in the world? Why are they jumping overboard? <laughs> These guys are not playing. These guys are like, get me off. Get me off now. Um, so they're getting out of here, but man, that was, seemed a little excessive there uh, right at the end for three people just to basically jump overboard. I mean, you're basically already at the dock, guys. It's it's not going to get any worse than the situation is, really. But these guys are, you know, scrambling to do whatever they can to save this. And actually, in the guy in the front of the bow of the vessel that just came running up, that was the captain from the vessel that was towing this boat. Who's captaining that boat now? Because that boat's still out here floating in the water, and I don't see anybody behind the helm. So the captain just jumped off the helm to come down here and help, and I saw somebody else swim up as well. So there's a lot going on right here. But um, they've got this thing pulled up onto the ramp, it appears, and they've got it leveled off, which is all pretty impressive. I mean, because it kind of happened fast. We're only a minute and 53 seconds into this episode and a lot went on already i mean you really almost need to go back and watch this in half speed just to kind of see what the heck happened but uh i mean they've got it leveled off let's see if they can get this thing out of here and go for the full save our crew's still holding this and we're still waiting somebody has gone to get the truck it appears though um bilge pump's still working we're still getting water out but as i mentioned earlier the captain from the vessel that towed this vessel in He's up there assisting them with that vessel. And so his vessel's out here floating now. And this guy's swimming back to that vessel. But here you can see, I mean, I don't I don't know that the guy who's behind the helm knows what he's really doing right this second. So they're helping Art and Hang right here get back onto the boat. I'm assuming the captain said, hey man, go out there, get my boat, and bring it back in. That's exactly what's going to happen here, is our guy here is going to come back in and captain this back over to the dock. And we're still holding and waiting on the vehicle to get here. But we're, I mean, this thing's still got a heck of a lean to it. I'm wondering, this can't be a drain plug. I mean, there's a ton of water in the boat for it to be rolling and leaning like this. And that bilge pump is working way faster than I think a drain plug hole would fill up. And it doesn't appear that we're getting anywhere on the water situation, even with that bilge pump working as hard as it's working. I mean, this boat's still taking on more water than it's pulling out, for sure. And we finally got a trailer down here. And you can tell, though, I mean, it's been down here for a little while now. That bilge pump is still pulling just as hard as it can. And they've got most of this boat out of the water. So I, I'm still curious to see what actually happened here. Um, because that's just an insane amount of water still coming out of this bilge pump. For this thing to be pulled up on the ramp the way it's set up. I mean, it's, it's it had to have taken on an insane amount of water during the time period that it was out there floating. And our crews are kind of finally setting up for the save here. Um, these guys are tying some lines around the stern of the vessel. I'm not quite sure for what purpose yet, though. I don't know if they want to try and use the other boat maybe to pull this vessel back out a little bit. So they've got some room to work with on the trailer to try and get this thing loaded. I'm just, I'm really not sure. You would figure almost they could push it with the trailer if they needed to. Um, maybe they're trying to prevent any further damage, though. But they're definitely trying to do something on the stern, that's for sure. It is crazy to still see that bilge pump just pumping that hard still after this has been sitting on the ramp for as long as it's been on the ramp as well. I mean, it's definitely not a drain plug. 
there's got to be something else going on below the water line that's letting a significant amount of water in. I'm not sure if they hit a rock or what these guys did, but something happened somewhere. I'm at least now starting to get an idea what they were doing with these stern lines, though, because I was starting to get confused with what they were trying to pull off. I thought they were possibly trying to pull the boat a little further out, but what it looks like they're actually doing is trying to prevent it from sinking anymore. So they know they're going to have to back this up, so it looks like they're tying the stern off on the boat behind it to help support this vessel so it stays afloat in the water instead of sinking further as they try and do this, which is kind of a slick idea saying that it works. <laughs> the, um, it's never really a good recommended idea to try and tie a vessel that's sinking off onto another vessel, but in the situation I understand it, and in the theory, it, it sounds good to me. It sounds like it holds weight that it could help definitely do this, um, especially as they have to try and push this vessel back as they're trying to bring it down. Um, but they're starting to get it onto the trailer here. And they'll continue to slowly back the tow vehicle and the trailer into the water as they pull this on. And this is going to help this whole process just go a whole lot faster. So every few inches they start pulling it onto the trailer, if they can get the truck to back up just a little bit more, it's going to help them out in getting it on. Um, plus the amount of weight this vessel has to have on it right now with the amount of water that's in it, it's going to make it really difficult just to fully winch it onto the trailer. Um, I'm curious to see if they're going to bring this all the way up though. I mean, what I would typically recommend somebody do in a situation like this is you don't necessarily need to get this thing all the way on the trailer you just need to get it far enough on the trailer where you can pull it out and empty it and get it back to a feasible weight to manage but um i got a feeling these guys are going to try and get this thing all the way on and all the way loaded which is not a terrible idea either i mean they seem to have plenty of room and plenty of support there's plenty of people here to help out they've got the stern of the vessel being supported by another vessel um, so, I mean, they probably have complete means to be able to fully get this thing on. But even right now at this point, they're a fair way on the trailer where they probably could just pull this thing out. Start pulling drain plugs, get it out of the water, and let all the water evacuate the vessel and then can finish loading it later. But, um, looks like we're, like, like I said earlier, it looks like they're going to go ahead and go for the full load now. Um, we got some relief coming in because I'm sure that it's a heck of a crank trying to crank all that water down. So... We got another guy here who's going to come in and try and give him a couple final cranks. And we're going to go. He's telling him to pull out, but the rear vessel's still tied to it. So we can't pull out yet, guys. Ho, ho, guys. And finally somebody stops him and they realize it. And the guy who was uh, supporting the stern of the vessel as they were floating, they were still tied off onto this. So, uh, but somebody caught it. And we're going to get this one out of here. Um, this is a pretty good save by this crew, and really, it, it all happens pretty darn fast, which is pretty impressive. A lot of times people go into panic mode, and things don't get done all that quickly in situations like this, but this crew right here, for the most part, from both vessels, I mean, these guys came in and jumped in and just started doing the things they needed to get done immediately. And they got this thing over to a dock, they got it pulled up on the ramp, and, I mean, this vessel's gonna get out of here. And it could have ended a whole lot worse, that's for sure. But speaking of getting out of here, we're going to get out of here as well. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Miami Boat Ramps. If you did, please check out some of our other content. We have our good friend Wavy Boats, who gets us all this great footage over at Holliver Inlet. My channel, Broncos Guru, where we do some great comedy boating videos over there as well. And of course, we've got Boats vs. Holliver, where man and machine take on Mother Nature down at Holliver Inlet, Miami, Florida. And if you guys haven't already, go ahead and drop an anchor on the subscribe button here.